When you search on Google and click a link, you naturally expect the page to load. Instead, you met with a message saying the page is not available. Frustrating, right? No one likes hitting a dead end and your visitors feel the same way. But here is the issue. Whenever someone lands on a broken page, you are not just putting them off. You are also telling Google that your website lacks quality. As a result, Google will start demote your site in the rankings. The good news, there's a simple way to fix this called 301 redirects. And in today's video, I'm not just gonna show you how to set them up in Webflow and Framer. I will also show you how I use Google Sheets to organize them, how Google Search Console helps me to track them and some mistakes you absolutely want to avoid. So here is the plan. First, we will go over what a 301 redirect is and why it's important. Then I will walk you through how to set them up in Webflow and Framer step by step. But the real magic happens after that. I will share how I use Google Sheets to keep everything organized, especially for big website migrations. And finally, we will dive into Google Search Console where I will show you exactly how to spot missing redirects, track them and fix errors. Stick around because by end of this, you will have a rock solid strategy to make sure your website never loses traffic from broken links. A while back, I was working with a client who was moving their entire website to Webflow. And when I say entire website, I mean hundreds of pages. Now, if you have ever migrated a site before, you know that if you don't handle redirects properly, your SEO can take a huge hit. For this client, some pages had moved, some were deleted and some had completely different URLs. And if we did not redirect them properly, their rankings would have disappeared overnight. So what I did do? I created a systematic process using Webflows and Framers 301 redirects, a Google Sheet for tracking everything and a Google Search Console to make sure nothing was missed. And let me tell you, it saved them a ton of headaches. Today I will show you exactly how I did it. Hi, I'm Ansif. I build and optimize websites in Webflow and Framer. And one of the biggest mistakes I see, people completely ignoring redirects. Either they don't set them up or worse, they did it wrong and ended up hurting their site even more. Let's fix that today. So first, what is 301 redirect? Think of it like changing your home address. When someone types in your old address, they don't just get lost, right? The post office forwards them to the new one. A 301 redirect does the same thing, but for web pages. And why is this important? Because search engines need to know where your page moved to. If they don't, they treat it as a deleted page and you lose all the SEO values you worked for. Okay, let's get practical. Here is how to set up a 301 redirect in Webflow. Go to your Webflow project settings, click publishing, scroll down to 301 redirect section, add old URL here and enter the new URL here and click the button. Once that is done, please make sure to click save and publish to the live domain. And here is how you set up a 301 redirect in Framer. Go to your site settings, click redirects, enter your old URL on the left and a new URL on the right, click the tick icon and make sure you publish the main domain. But here's my question, what if you have a lot of pages to redirect? Now, this is where Google Sheets comes in. When I'm working on a website migration, I don't just randomly add redirects, I plan them out first. And Google Sheets makes this super easy. Here is how I do it. Open a Google Sheet and create a two column, old URL and new URL. Copy all your old URLs from the previous website into the first column. Start mapping them your new URLs in the second column. Once everything is mapped, go through Webflow or Framer and manually add them. You may wonder why we do this. Because if you are dealing with dozens or even hundreds of pages, you don't want to forget anything. This also makes it easy to share with your team and double check your work. But here is the thing. What if you are starting in the middle of the project and you don't have any idea about your website's current status regarding 404 pages? This is where Google Search Console comes in. Here is what you do. Go to Google Search Console, click on the pages, look for the section called Not Found 404 Errors. These are the URLs that Google can't find. For starting Google Sheet tracking, export the CSV file from here and you can import into the new Google Sheet. So you can track it from now on. Once you have made the redirects, they are live on your Webflow or Framer website. You can even go to Google Search Console and use the URL inspection tool to check the old URL properly forwards to the new one. Now let's talk about what not to do. The mistake number one is redirect loops. This happens when a page A redirects to page B, but then page B redirects back to page A. Infinite loop, not good. Mistake number two, redirect chains. This is when an old URL redirects to another old URL, then another, before finally reaching the right page. That slows things down. Always redirect directly to the final page. Mistake number three, forgetting subdomain redirects. 
If you are moving from blog.yoursite.com to yoursite.com slash blog, you need to set up redirects for that too. Mostly subdomain redirects are domain level controls, which means you have to do a proper domain forwarding from where you purchased the domain. One bonus tip, when you're dealing with the pages that have a consistent structure like transitioning from blog slash post title to post slash post title, you can use wildcard redirects in Webflow and Framer. Because these URLs are categorized as a dynamic URLs. Manually handling hundreds of individual blog post redirects is impractical and not sustainable for the future. Instead, just add slash asterisk at the end of the old URL and redirect it to the new structure. This solution saves you from the hustle of setting up hundreds of separate CMS page redirects. Alright, so by doing this, your website did not lose any SEO traffic, its users never hit dead end pages, and everything stayed clean and organized. If you are working on a website migration or even just cleaning up old pages, make sure you use Cleanup on redirects, Google Sheets for tracking, and Google Search Console for validation. And finally, if you want help setting this up for your business website, check the link in the description. I have got the few resources for you. And if you found this video helpful, drop a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.